Hey, Bergy Berg. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> Y'all see my cat? Mm. Hi, Bergy Berg. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for anybody with Virgo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. Sending you guys a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Anything you guys... Um... I just lost my train of thought. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, so let's tap in Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Virgo and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Virgo Virgs. And protect me as I channel the messages. I just zoned out. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on, Virgo. Ooh, child. Taurus just had that. Hopefully, Taurus is reading piss me off. So we got harmony can be restored, balance. Harmony happens when you tend to and nurture all parts of your life. Nurture a healthy respect for your time, your boundaries, and your space. Yeah, something, something about boundaries keeps coming out. It's been coming out all six of the zodiac signs that I did today. Okay, there, there's a, a clear need to set boundaries here to create harmony and balance in your life. Or this could be a person that you're dealing with or in your energy that needs to do this okay i feel like we're gonna see what you're reading is about because i'm just not gonna say it's like all the other ones but honey listen <laughs> okay let's see um it says defunct your life clearing make room for what you want in life clear your space detox relationships let go of what does not serve you both physically and emotionally Ooh, my sinus is calming down so i think aries got that card my nose still doing a little bit of something something but, um, so yeah, it's time to clear something out of your energy fully, Virgo. There's a situation here that you're needing to let go, face the truth about is what I'm getting. I feel like it's a harmony can be restored. I feel like harmony can be restored in a situation here, Virgo, for you. Once you clear something out, you have to defunct your life, let go of certain relationships, family, friends, whoever exes whatever needs to be released in order to create harmony and balance okay it says rest and take a time out space okay it says give yourself some space and time to process the things that have happened in your life space gives perspective and clarity time heals okay somebody here wants to give you some sort of space or you're giving somebody some sort of space to cool off from something okay to die down or something needs time to be integrated here, or maybe. Bottom of the deck, yeah, rise as your best self. Be your best. Take a moment to recognize that you have always been doing the best you can. Once you see this in yourself, it will be easier to see it in others. Follow your heart, uplift. Hmm. There could be somebody here that want to balance something out with you, but they need to clear something out first before they can do that. Okay, is what I'm getting. Somebody needs time to process some shit before they can do this. Or this is you. What are you doing? <laughs> My cat is so vocal. Like, he just talk, 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 talk. I don't know if it's because he's still a baby. I think he's like eight months now. Child. But... Let's see. What's this balance? <clears throat> the hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I'm going to just leave it there. What's this balance clearing in space? Emperor. 
in reverse by the way aries okay definitely yeah go watch aries reading five of pentacles taurus mercury and the three of swords yeah I, I you know i feel like somebody is their own problem like they're in their own way okay there could be a lack of structure stability security with somebody <clears throat> the emperor in reverse this could be a masculine energy that you could be having parenting issues with like this could be your baby daddy baby mama could be a, um, a a woman or this could be your own damn daddy i don't know but the emperor reverse is somebody that likes to abuse their power in, in, a, in a position of authority they like to be in a position of power and they like to hurt other people to get there so i feel like this is what this person here needs to be aware of about themselves or this is you i don't know but the hangman in reverse is like somebody here there's negative patterns on repeat time and time again they break their own heart i feel they could be in negative situations or in negative cycles here that's not doing them no good their money is fucked up they don't have any kind of structure no real structure no real organization in their life no stability no security like this person's root chakra could be thrown off okay so they could be having trust issues or they're definitely experiencing instability within and external because whatever goes on internal definitely plays on your external so this person's life could be upside down is because their insides are okay um the hangman in reverse too is like and somebody is so withdrawn from themselves like they don't even know themselves everything is blocked it's like their their crown is blocked their throat chakra could be blocked their uh, third eye is blocked. they just all over the place. I feel like this person is so heartbroken. Somebody is like heartbroken. They're upset. Okay, maybe because they lost you or just about different situations in their past they haven't gotten over. It's turned them really cold and narcissistic is what I'm getting. Which is playing out now in their finances. I feel like this person, somebody got a ban really bad abandonment issues. Okay. I don't know. The hangman in reverse too could talk about like um <clears throat> stalling. Somebody is stalling, doing something. They're like refusing doing it. They're refusing to do it. I feel like somebody has impulsive, negative behavior. Like they just don't. I don't know. Yeah, ten of wands. Child. Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. some sort of truth and clarity is coming out this is like a breakthrough an aha moment an epiphany yeah it's like some sort of truth has came out so now somebody needs time to process it they need a space or they want to give you your space because you see the truth about them and you're probably pissed off or upset or whatever i'm sick of seeing this little bitch this queen of swords right here this bitch came out and damn 111 on the clock virgo you could be seeing those numbers they came out in reverse and towards this reading and it's a lot that came out about this little hoe this could be their mama for some of you I don't like them. But this could be you as a queen of swords. You could be setting clear boundaries or cutting this person off. Or this could be you needing time to reflect. Because you're very discerning. I feel like you see a situation for what it is. Okay. And you're not being in denial about a goddamn thing. So let's see. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. If somebody is way down. They got a lot of responsibilities, burdens. They stressed out. They just got a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities. I feel like this is internal too, like real heavy. And it's, it's strong on their external, but somebody could be homeless for some of you. What's the hangman in reverse? Mm -hmm. I guess this reading will be about exposing the fuck out of somebody. Yeah, King of Cups. What's the hangman in reverse? King of Cups. Knight of Wands. So the hangman in reverse talks about like too disinterest. So you could be showing disinterest towards someone. Okay. And I feel like this person here, they try to appear as somebody that's balanced or like they, they're okay. They're not. I feel like you know it. You know that they're not. Okay. <clears throat> And, you know, it's crazy, too, because I feel like this person has a real potential to be a nice person. Okay, they, they do. But it's just like some people get so lost. 
and they get so fucked up that they just turn into the person that they that hurt them it's just like some people ain't got that kind of strength but um you could have a spirit guy here that's protecting you or trying to guide you currently or, or this person somebody here needs to break free and take a risk and do something this could be to express somebody's emotions or feelings but somebody could be in the energy where they feel like you're going to be disinterested or closed off the king of cups here somebody here could have deep feelings for you they care about you but <clears throat> they have a negative way of showing their feelings okay this is somebody that you would never know to have feelings for you or something like that <clears throat> What's this Knight of Wands? Somebody here could be traveling or moving around. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. You guys could be saying 10 10. So this could be you releasing and letting go. Maybe you're letting go of this person, but I feel like it's this person that has so much to carry around. You know what I'm saying? It's like a heavy burden, stress, anxiety, pressure, feeling just worn down, just, I don't know, they tired. Somebody here could be sick. But the, um, you could be releasing though, to, uh, I'm about to call you Taurus, <clears throat> Virgo, you could be releasing these stresses, these burdens, and I feel like you're taking action, you're going after the things that you want. So I feel like this is the energy that you're in. You have this confidence and this, um, this drive and ambition about yourself to release anything that needs to be released and move forward. I feel like that's what you did. So now you have anything, you, ha you have this interest in anything or anybody from your past, especially that's in reverse like this, the Emperor in reverse, Ten of Wands. I feel like as you're releasing, this person is still holding on to shit. So who this King of Cups? This could be like a spirit guy guiding you, or this King of Cups could be somebody you're dating. It could be a Scorpio. They could be releasing certain things and letting go of certain things. What's the King of Cups? Oh, the star in reverse. <clears throat> so somebody here feels let down. They feel disappointed or they're in despair. They feel hopeless or lost. This could be like um, not having faith or not being optimistic about something. Really, somebody is stuck in their past a lot. Like somebody is stuck in their south node. This could be somebody that's refusing to heal or change their ways. Okay. What's this King of Cups with the star in reverse? So I feel like you you could kind of like be being protected from somebody that's going through a really deep, dark depression. Yeah, they tripping. But yeah, so somebody here feels let down because you're getting new love or you love yourself. Ace of Cups. Okay, or something like that. This is like a projection of energy too. Somebody wants you to feel what they're feeling or maybe they don't, but they just in your energy heavy because I feel like you clearly, Virgo, they did something that they were supposed to be doing. But definitely with the, with the Ace of Cups, this is like new love and new love for yourself. Um, spiritual upgrades and ascension process possibly is what I just heard. I don't know. I feel like somebody could be in love with you or they still got love for you heavy, but they are in despair. They ain't got no faith. They don't believe in. I don't know what they believe in. But I don't know. I feel like somebody's more so in despair about you having new love. You could be moving on with somebody that genuinely cares about you or whatever. <laughs> somebody has stalled. They stalled. They took too damn long. So now they're sitting up here looking stupid. What's the Emperor in reverse? Yeah, so what cups? Mm. What's the Emperor in reverse? This person here could be down low. Somebody can have something that they haven't healed from. I mean, that they can't heal from. They're not their true authentic self, whoever this is. They could definitely be like bisexual or they're on a down low, but they don't want to let people know. So they, they're not being true to themselves. They're not. And that's why spirit is not going to bless this person. Because spirit really, honestly, they don't care if you're gay, bisexual, or whatever the fuck. Love is love. That's what I feel like. Strong. Okay. I feel like those other beliefs are religious beliefs. What I believe in is love is love. God just wants you to love. God is love. 
But if you don't want to be your true authentic self, if you have to be fake, then you're not going to receive your blessings. You're not going to find the person that's that's for you, that loves you here. Because there's other, obviously, gay and bisexual people out here. But if you're going to hide from the world that that's what you are, then you're going to be living a lie. And when you live a lie, what's that? Like, that's, that's of the devil. Okay, just period. That's not... You're not truly happy. And God only wants you to be truly happy. Okay? So those are my beliefs about that. People can say, oh, well, God didn't create man and man to be together. God created a man and woman. And I get it. But I still got the belief of be who you want to be. God likes when you're who you are. People think spirit is like some sort of like they're going to put you in hell if you are doing something or a certain way. God is not even judgmental like that. <laughs> God wants you to be whoever you want to be, be whoever you are, be happy. As long as you're not harming or hurting anybody else, that's the key. People here need to learn that. They ain't got no fucking character, no self-respect, no integrity, no dignity, no pride in themselves. Like people are just lost. They they think that God is one way. That's that religious shit. I'm 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 sick of it. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm be honest. If you feel offended, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just saying. It's the truth of it. Okay, we're all spiritual beings living a human experience. Once people get that, then you'll get the gist of things and how things are going and who God really is. Somebody here don't know who God truly is, who source is, who the universe is, whatever, whatever you want to subscribe to. So I don't know. Somebody's belief systems is distorted. What's the imprint reverse with the two of cups? <laughs> Eight of wands. So yeah, I feel like eight of wands with the two of cups. You could be moving into a connection though. Two of cups, I mean, in the original deck, it's a man and a woman, whatever. Or yeah, you could be falling in love with somebody. Okay, you're in a connection. Things are moving forward in a positive direction. So this emperor is just here. Like, what are they saying? Are they going to speak up and say that they love you? Or what the fuck is the problem? You could be in a relationship here where this person... Is lacking some sort of stability, like they they structure is off. Let's see, what's the eight of wands? This could be like some sort of communication coming in, or there's oh, okay, so somebody here is attacking your relationship. Okay, what's the eight of wands, ten of swords? Yeah, so somebody here is doing shit in a cowardly, pussy ass way. They don't they don't want to come forward and be like you know how, tell you how they feel or do something in a positive way they want to fucking attack your your connection your relationship <laughs> they want what's the eight of wands with the ten of swords yeah the empress yeah they want to attack you here empress because you leveled up when we got the emperor in reverse and then we have the empress so this person here want to cause some sort of death or they want to put some sort of end to something and i feel like you're still moving on you can have taurus or libra in your chart So somebody's sending some sort of mess your way. What's this two of cups? Okay, bet. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Three of swords, yeah, because they heartbroken. The devil and the temperance. So they sending some sort of spiritual warfare to you. I always get that with this. All right, what's the two of cups with the three of swords, child? Yeah, the world. Because you close the cycle out and you're going towards a new beginning. You guys will be seeing three, three, three. You're going towards a new beginning. There's a new beginning for you. I feel like you feel whole, complete. It's like, how dare you level up without me? How dare you move forward without me? How dare you? How dare you fall in love with somebody else without me? But it's like, baby, you need to fucking get out of this. You don't control nobody. The fuck? The, the emperor in reverse? You don't run shit. When you finally get out of your fucking ego, then maybe you will have some sort of control over your life. You can't control nobody else. You can't control yourself. So there's no way you can lead and control somebody else to do what you want them to do. Absolutely not. So I feel like you could be needing to set boundaries with this person or somebody here just energetically doing something. So you need to set boundaries as in go in the spirit and fucking banish their ass. That's what you need to do for some of you. Okay, yeah, the death card and the magician. Yeah, put an end to it. Okay, if somebody's sending you magic, send that shit back. Okay, somebody here needs a mirror in front of their face to show you, like, bitch, you don't run anything. I don't give a fuck who you are. One, two, three on the clock. Confirmation. You don't run nothing. What's uh? Somebody here could be looking at your pictures. They're just so heartbroken, upset. What's the eight, the five of pentacles? Child, please. What's five of pentacles? 
Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. Like somebody here is just a liar. They keep trying to escape karma or whatever. Hide from the truth. Someone can have an Aquarius moon. So someone, there's some sort of strategy or plan or some sort of manipulation here. Let me see something. What's the Seven of Swords? Because here we go. The Hermit, Virgo. Okay, clearly. We, it's another Virgo. They've been coming out a lot. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles again. Virgo. Virgo again, Nine of Pentacles. So you can have Virgo in your chart, chart too, obviously, Virgo. You could be a Virgo, but this person, they can have it highly aspected somewhere else. What's the Seven of Swords, the Hermit? I feel like this person's shadow is following them everywhere they fucking go. The more they try to run, the worse it gets. Whatever they say they're running from. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> There's somebody here that's a thief. Somebody's a thief, they're a loser, okay? And to be honest, I feel like with the Emperor in reverse, they're being used as... I mean, they're, they're, they clearly are not a good person right now. Like, they got... they 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 tripping but there's somebody somebody family here that's that's hiding the fact that they're being a thief or trying to take from you or they're trying to get this person to do this and they keep trying to cover themselves but i feel like with the queen of cups you're very intuitive you know you know that someone is doing this already the hermit talks about um researching something analyzing something this ten of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's a thief or somebody doing some sort of illegal activity. They could be doing it spiritually or in real life. This is somebody that's losing their home, their stability, security, a marriage here falling apart. Somebody that's faking their wealth, their happiness. Okay, now somebody in the Five of Pentacles. That's what the fuck they get. It's going to get worse too, bitch. It's going to get worse. So this is a family here that's faking like they, they, they got it like that and they don't. These are people that hide themselves. I feel like these people right here in this person's family, because it's coming out again just in a different way, they cloaking themselves. So that way they can hide and they're using this person. They're putting this person out on, 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 on in, in front to make it seem like it's them with the problem. And it is them with the problem for sure. But I feel like this attack is coming from this damn family and they think that you don't know about it. What's the Queen of Cups? This is sad, man. What's the Queen of Cups? Seven of Wands in reverse. Or oh, this is person doing it, but the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I feel like somebody is like burnt out. This is burnt out energy. Somebody that's failing to compromise or whatever. What's this Queen of Cups with the Seven of Wands in reverse? Something here. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, I feel like something here is unblocked too. Okay, something is definitely unblocked. The power and authority and, the, and yeah, the power that somebody had over you is done with. I feel like you're very emotionally stable and balanced. Okay, I feel like you've healed from a lot. Right? So we got the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. So I, and that, that could be your new love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all both got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart somewhere. Maybe Scorpio or Cancer. but Or maybe Pisces, whatever. But the, the judgment is definitely an awakening. I feel like you're stepping into your purpose. And now I feel like people are under investigation and they're trying to run away. There's some cowardly ass shit. The truth is out, bitch. The truth is out. So whether you like it or not, it is what the fuck it is. And I feel like you've been nothing but kind and nice to all of these hoes. This could be a mother that's that's cloaking themselves. This is somebody mama that keep coming out. This is somebody stupid ass, ratchet ass little this bitch here. Okay, I'm gonna call you exactly what you're fucking acting like. So, yeah. So somebody's under judgment. Somebody could be getting investigated too for some sort of illegal activity. Like in real life, they could be a thief. But spirit could be investigating them and doing certain things, looking at their stupid ass, just waiting for them to make a dumbass move again so that way they can lose everything. Just like how they are right now. It's going to get even worse. Okay, so these people are under judgment. 
Okay. I feel like there's a need for you to kind of like surrender, wave your white flag and just forgive these people. I know it's hard because baby, the way that I just got irritated in Taurus's reading. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go with Anubis. Anubis is here, bitch. Somebody's spirit guide is Anubis. Don't play. <laughs> Don't play. Don't fucking play. Okay. Look like you already did. So now somebody's under judgment. They're being judged. And I feel like you're being judged too. It's time for you to forgive and release. It's time for you to take space and, and a time out to rest. To process whatever whatever is going on here. Because these people look like they're already in the five of pentacles. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Their little empire and all this little shit is falling apart. So everybody involved is getting karma. This masculine or whoever else is involved is trying to hide and cloak their energy. Yeah, somebody here could do a lot of moon magic or whatever the fuck they call themselves doing. I don't know. But anyways, what's the... Yeah, spirit is weighing your heart. And I feel like you just surrender. You surrender and you give it to God. You give it to source. And this is why you are being judged and you're getting good karma. You're stepping into your purpose. Spirit is giving you that. Okay, spirit is, is allowing you to move forward on your path. And get whatever it is that's going to make you happy, period. So, what's three of swords? Eight of Pentacles, Virgo sign, a lot of Virgo. <sighs> what's three of swords, eight of Pentacles? Nine of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, there's somebody here that got a chip on their shoulder, child. And they focus, they focus on trying to hurt somebody. Literally, Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. Like, what the fuck? I feel like you do the inner work. You're doing whatever it is that you need to do to heal. And somebody else is heartbroken. But the Nine of Wands in reverse is like somebody that's upset about something. They, 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 they don't want to compromise or work with you. They, they, they want to be difficult, whoever the fuck this is. Someone can have a Sag Moon. I feel like this is you as the last one standing too. But this is like something here. This is the last time this person gonna ever be able to do this shit, whatever this shit is to you again. Okay, somebody here could be sick as well. They they just this just a mess. Somebody could be could be chronically fatigued, tired, drained. Okay. Somebody gonna have to work a lot to get to where they need to be. Bitch, you should have been doing that shit. I feel like somebody wanna wait until their old ass age to wanna do this now. It's like when you could have did this back when you was young and being stupid as fuck running around with no fucking common sense. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, the devil. Somebody here is just, they toxic. They nasty. They focus on hurting people and, and not healing and doing what they need to do. Now they want to send a tax or they got people to do it or whatever. It's like, no. Look at all these chains down here. Like this person is chained to a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of toxicity. Like they all chained together. This could be people that participate in a lot of ritual, like sex magic, ritualistic things and orgies. And these could be, this could be somebody that drinks a lot, smoke a lot. They could have like addictions or something like that. They got a sex addiction for some of you. Oh. What's the nine of wands in reverse with the devil? Capricorn energy. Yeah, six of cups. Somebody from your past that's obsessed with you. I feel like they just don't want to let up. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to release you. I feel like you're the only one that survived this mess with their ass. Like you, you're the only one that moved forward and they couldn't break you down like they did people in the past or whatever. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth. So I feel like you see the, the error in their ways. You see their nasty ass ways and whoever else they surrounded with. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Like somebody here got problems from their childhood that they just refuse to heal or they don't want to see it. And what's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Emperor Upright Child, please. <laughs> the Tower and the Dab Ten of Cubs. That's your boo. That's the real Emperor coming through. This person here heartbroken as hell about that. Okay, your your actual masculine could have the same placements as this other masculine. And you know why is this so closely associated? I feel like this is your twin here. And this is a false twin. So it's like, I don't know, just based on my own experience and my own twin flame union, which I'm in. They kind of like do have the same placements. <laughs> this is just a more stable version. 
of what you have. You have potential. This person had potential. You've seen the potential in them, and they let you down, and they've been revengeful and spiteful. Then they didn't want you to love yourself. They wanted you to fucking stay in a relationship with them while they do whatever the fuck they want to do. And when you decided to love yourself and move away, they got revengeful and spiteful. What's the Eight of Pentacles with the Emperor? So this Eight of Pentacles Emperor person, this person here, yeah, Four of Swords. Somebody here could be healing, resting. This person, I feel like you found peace or you made peace with a situation. Somebody in their head, they stressed out. They don't know what to do. <clears throat> Someone could have a Libra Jupiter. But this Emperor is somebody that's not going to play about you either. This Emperor upright. They work on themselves. They focus. They're disciplined. They're organized. They're structured. They have stability. And I feel like this person can have things from their past too that's heartbreaking or hurtful. But you don't see them running around acting like they, they ain't got no fucking sense. They're not acting like that. So, I mean, what's the excuse? I don't know. People get hurt every day, B. <laughs> so either you going to fucking stop playing victim and, and learn from it and grow. Or you going to be stuck like this. I feel like this is what somebody do. They do. Like, that's on them. But, bitch, you need to back the fuck up. Somebody here need to stop attacking your connections and leave you the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, four swords. Somebody here. Is they sleeping next to a knife. Somebody. And for what? This could be, too, a form of protection. Four swords and the emperor. I feel like this person here is going to stand up for your ass. And they're going to protect you with all they might. Okay. Just period. So, you can be in a commitment with them currently. Eight of Pentacles is you committed, focused on building. Your, your relationship with this person is progressing. This masculine's finances is progressing, too. This is your masculine. So, what's the Ten of Wands? I feel like you've seen the Emperor in them. They have potential. And then they, they, they fell from grace. Instead of them, instead of you not wanting to be with them and them going to work on themselves and coming back stronger... They fucking ruined the situation by being spiteful and nasty. And then they got other people involved. So, okay. I mean, that's what you get. That's what happens when you are like that. What the fuck? What you thought this was going to be turning out to be? What's the Ten of Wands? I don't know. This is why. <laughs> Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So now, yeah, somebody here got to watch you be happy. This is you at peace, happy. I feel like this is you releasing and letting go. This is you releasing and letting go here. This person here, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands. Somebody is still carrying burdens and baggage and dead weight from their past. And they're running around. They don't have no stability, no security, no nothing. They're just running around being, I feel like, having sex with multiple people. I don't know. I just heard something about pills. They could be a pill popper. I don't know. This person has really bad addictions. It's just like a mess. It's a mess. So, this person here, they got to see you be happy. This is like good news here. That's coming in about your finances. This is a solid foundation being built. Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. This is a victory. This is inner harmony, success, joy, comfort. I feel like definitely a faded connection is here. This Emperor, Empress. Okay, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. I feel like that's you and your person. So this is y'all. For some of you guys, a family is getting ready to start. Okay, you're getting ready to have a baby and some more shit. Okay. This could be an Earth sign baby or a fire or a, a water, whatever. But... I feel like there's good news coming in. There's good news. Everything is solid. It's stable. I feel like if you guys are seen in the public eye, then you're getting more recognition for whatever it is you do for work. I feel like you feel confident. You're moving forward. Like you're being supported by the universe, by spirit, whatever you subscribe to. And <clears throat> this is what somebody could be seeing. They could be watching Tarot and seeing that you found your counterpart. This person here is distraught, child. They don't know what to do. They don't know what the fuck to do. And the fact that they need to walk away and leave you alone. Some of y'all could be a reader. Or you do something in divination or whatever. But anyways, what's the Ace of Swords, child? The High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, four wands. <clears throat> Pisces here, strong Pisces, a high priestess for uh, nine of cups. So yeah, this could be um, whatever your intuition is telling you is on point. The high priestess with the ace of swords. This is just confirming everything that you... Um, oh. Sorry, little boy. My car is all right here. 
this is just confirming everything that you've been suspecting here about this person. Or if you need confirmation, if you're on the right track or with the right person, I feel like you are. But you have clarity about the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth is coming out. Okay. Some of you guys could be the high priestess. Yeah, you could be seen in the public eye. <laughs> and you're the one exposing them. And whoever else they're with. The high priestess, ace of swords, yeah, nine of cups. You could definitely have status or you're getting some sort of recognition, fame, rewards. You sleepy? Just lay down and go to sleep. You was just laying there. What you getting up for? Child. But let's see. What's the high priestess? Yeah, eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, you overcame some sort of obstacle. So I feel like you could be speaking your truth. You could be speaking your truth. Okay. I feel like you overcame some sort of obstacle. You're not being silenced. You're not scared of anything. Like, you're moving the fuck on. You're focused. You're determined. And you're going to speak your truth. Just period. So, if somebody's scared, bitch, I, I guess then you're just scared. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what else to fucking say. Shouldn't have did what you did. Now, somebody getting exposed. What's the Nine of Cups? Yep, Page of Wands. What's the Nine of Cups? Page of Wands. Something here is unbinded too. Something is, yeah, nine of swords. Somebody here nervous as hell. <laughs> they're nervous. They're having anxiety. They're stressed. Or you could be stressed about something here. No need to stress, honey. Hey. Stop. You guys will be saying nine, nine, nine. What's this page? So you, I feel like you could be having some sort of good news coming through or this could be a new creative project or a new endeavor that you're working on. It's like you're, you're cheerful though. You're happy. You got good news coming in. What's the page of wands? Let me see. This could be, yeah, five of swords. Child, please. What's the page of wands? Five of swords. <laughs> Ace of pentacles. And the three of wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. Will of fortune. So you have some sort of gift coming through. Somebody is trying to fucking bully you or intimidate you or try to scare you or something like that because they stuck. They can't see into whatever it is that you're doing. Either you are getting some sort of gift or reward, okay, that you earned. And somebody else is like feeling scared or nervous or whatever the fuck, child. Who cares? You bitches, y'all always scared when y'all get caught doing some fuck shit. Don't nobody give a fuck about you hoes being scared, bitch. What the fuck? You wasn't scared when you was doing this shit. Now you're scared? Who gives a fuck? Nobody nobody cares. Be scared and get the fuck out of my readings. Be scared of... Be scared and be scared away from over here. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Nobody cares. You did what you did. And you played this quite well, Virgo, or Crosswasher. Like, you did exactly what you were told to do. You handled the situation exactly how it was handled. All your karma that's coming in is good karma. Because you could have fucking whooped somebody's ass. Or you could have fucking cursed somebody out, like, bad. And really, really <clears throat> got resentful, nasty, jealous, bitter. You could have went that route, but you didn't. You just moved on and kept studying and growing and nurturing yourself. That's what happened. And somebody here is mad as fuck because they couldn't break you. Them or they raggedy ass family members. The whole family is getting exposed and they trying to run. Bitch, run from what and where you running to? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Where are you going? Nowhere. You can't go nowhere. Yeah, bye, Felicia. Side hustle the texter. <laughs> I can't stand a cowardly ass little bitch. People that always want to run. Child, we got trash here in reverse. A low class person, not worth trying, nonsense. Poor quality, worthless, and useless. Yeah, that's not you. Somebody here, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's exactly what I just heard with this. Somebody here values you, they love you, they cherish you. And somebody else got to live in regret and, and realize that they treated you like shit. It's them. They're the problem. Somebody has to understand that now. Yeah. Lined up here. We got casual dating, keeping options open, multiple love, interest, non-committal. Yeah, this they ass. It's them. Running around, acting like a hoe. Re-evaluation, re feeling doubt. 
contemplating choices, questioning decisions, second guessing. Yeah, now they're second guessing everything. <laughs> they saw you as low life and trash because of what? Why? <laughs> I bet it's because of what somebody else fucking said. It's not because that's what they really saw in you. Or maybe they did because they don't know their own worth. So, but. <laughs> What else? <clears throat> so we got low key. Yeah, to not announce something, to treat with little emphasis, secretly, not showy, hidden info. Yeah, this person here just keep on hiding. Okay, it's a report. Yeah, but you, you fucking expose it. It's like, there's somebody trying to hide something, but bitch, we see it. What the fuck? Announcement, incoming news, finding something out, unknown, being revealed. Muse, feeling inspired, absorbed in thought, channeling creativity, new and inspired ideas. Yeah, this is you just working. Whatever you do here for, for work here, whatever you do that's creative. Some of y'all are readers. You're exposing the fuck out of this bitch. You're exposing the fuck out of them. Or there's something that you exposed that's, that was hidden from this person that they don't see. What's low key? And to not announce... Yeah, curiosity, peaked interest, investigating further, taking a closer look, keeping tabs. What was low key? Somebody here watching you for sure. We got it's all good in reverse. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Optimism, glasses half full, keeping a positive outlook, not sweating the small stuff. Yeah, something is need to be sweated because it's big. It's big. <clears throat> What's the announcement? I mean, report. Sweet deal. Yeah, that, that you're getting an offer. Desirable opportunity, a deserved gesture, a beneficial offer, getting an advantage. What's, what's, what's Muse? Somebody here is just pathetic. Yeah, flatlining. A relationship situation is dying. Conversation went dead. Can't resurrect. Lost interest. Yeah, you're, you're over it. Stop, little boy. Stop. Leave my shit alone. <clears throat> Options. Many choices, exploring everything, not settling, eclectic preferences. And then we got Stan. Liking something or something, liking someone or something a lot, unhealthy character traits, stalker, fan, and obsessed. You know, somebody's obsessed with you. They're they stalking you. They're watching you. They're trying to see what, what new things you have in your life. Why do you feel this? Why why are you getting this new inspiration or this new way about yourself? Like what's new? So somebody here is watching to see what's new, bitch. This is what's new, this damn relationship. And the fact that that you're moving on and starting a new family somewhere else. That's what. And you're genuinely happy, and that's what it's gonna be. So we got disillusioned. Yeah, it's a rose-colored glasses. Not as good as it seemed. Feeling let down, disappointment. Yeah, and then we have chillax. Stressed, overwhelming, anxiety, taking on too much, needing to decompress. So for some of you, this person, like I said, they family sent this person on a dummy mission to fucking spy on you or to stop something from happening, child. And it didn't go the way that they planned. So now they got to report back to their family like, man, I couldn't do what you wanted me to do. Like, bitch, you a grown-ass fucking man, bitch. Or a woman the fuck it's a crumbs minimal effort stringing along giving just enough leading on <clears throat> who's disillusioned i feel like <laughs> somebody here is in a relationship that they 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 can't there's no growth there something is not enduring it's not going to stand the test of time it's not going to last they're they're yeah tea sipping in reverse feeding into rumors Listening to juicy gossip and everyone's business thrives off of drama. Yeah, this person is finding out that they fucking it. They in an illusion. They're, this is not a real connection, a real relationship. What's crumbs? God is vibes. And they gave what? You crumbs? <laughs> Divine feminine energy, living through purpose, releasing ego, reclaiming power. Or for some of you, the person that they with is taking on your energy some sort of way. <clears throat> This was all a plot here for this person to end things with you. What's crumbs here with God is five, child? So this person was made to fucking... This person was made to believe that you weren't the one or you were a mess and you're not. 
it's a missing piece waiting to be found feeling incomplete searching for more feeling a void yeah this is why they feel a void because i feel like they would a fake ass a fake ass empress that's what i feel like they with a fake ass empress somebody here would thought that whoever they was with was gonna be their person they not and i feel like you're actually moving on to your person oh child if somebody was disillusioned here about you you're a divine feminine they fed, they fed you crumbs okay yeah new boo exactly new love new chance in love exploring feelings honeymoon stages that's you and your new man or woman <clears throat> We got millennial, self-enterprising, adventurous, destroying traditions, exactly, diverse, young person, individuality. Yeah, this is you. Moving on, being a bad bitch, period, man or woman. You know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> but it's a blank slate, starting over, leaving the past behind, hitting the reset button, a new chapter. Yeah, that's you. What's your new boo? <laughs> it's like, okay. Somebody here got, they played themselves, this period. I think I said it in your last title. We got support, close ally, offer of assistance, sharing the burden, not in it alone. <laughs> Ghosted, yeah, whatever you had is over. Left confused and wondering, disappearing act, no closure. Yeah, whoever this person was working with to do all this, now they they running, they hiding. The, with the hermit and the seven of swords, they, they, they with some, a bunch of fucking cowards. Or whoever they with has left them because their whole plan was to make themselves appear as the, as the empress. And for you to get ghosts or get gone or for them to sweep you out of this person's life. Some of y'all, this is your damn child's father, your child's mother, or it could be any damn body. But I'm saying, like, this this is what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, celebration. I feel like they, they all didn't did you a favor. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. You did way more than what you thought you were supposed to. You, you did, okay? You helped me a lot. Thank you for this lame ass shit that you did, but it worked in my favor. You know, so you got to thank them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody got set up, friend, and now they got a baby with somebody. This person here can have a baby with someone. <laughs> Sipping tea, careful who you listen to. Listen to constructive criticism. Listening to gossip and news. Yeah, that's what they went to. Now they blocked. Brick wall. And it's a well played because you played this game real well. And now you're getting abundance. <laughs> like somebody really thought that they was living a dream life with this bitch and now the fuck they with a fucking bitch that's delusional young and dumb and full of fucking cum that's exactly what i just heard and that's exactly what it is so now we got celebration accomplishment hitting a milestone happy times reaching goals so yeah everything that that's falling apart for this person this per this bitch is goals because the only reason why they got with them was for what some sort of stability structure whatever something that the bitch can't give herself so now that this man ain't got shit and now I guess that this, they found out that I guess, I don't know. I feel like these people, they all knew that this man wanted you back and they wanted to trick this masculine and they got tricked because this masculine went along with it. They listened to gossip and all this stupid ass shit. So now they stuck over there with a bitch that like that or they ain't got the bitch at all because the bitch probably ain't even there. Sounds tragic to me. Sounds tragic. What else? Yeah, now you're in a thriving, loving relationship. <laughs> it's a soul food. Nourishing the soul, focusing on self-love, prioritizing self-care, meeting true needs. Period. Committed. Exactly. Seeing things through, sticking it out, staying together, linked up. And then we got exposure. Shedding light, finding clarity, the hidden being revealed, mysteries resolved. I mean, mystery solved. Exposure. Let me see. Spirit is funny. I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, flexing. All about themselves. Selfish traits, pride, flashy, arrogance, insincere, and boasting. And then we have easy breezy. No worries, smooth sailing, everything working out, no troubles ahead. Cap. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody, it said what they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not. Lies, bullshit, and faking. What's exposure? Yeah, endurance. That you're moving forward and you're you're the one here that's the winner in this situation. Like, bitch, since y'all want to do this, this secret-ass competition, how the fuck you going to compete with somebody secretly and then you still lost? You lame as fuck. They say endurance. Longevity, overcoming adversity, standing the test of time. <laughs> 
What's committed? Let me see. Sus. Exactly. Someone is being shady. Something is being hidden. Suspicious, suspect, and untrustworthy. What's committed with sus? <laughs> Defensive in reverse. Easily triggered, quick to react, ready to pop off, not backing down. Yeah, I feel like this is you. You have great control of your emotions. Like, what the fuck are you going to do all this for? You know something going on. You suspected this shit about this false-ass commitment that they stuck over there in. You already knew something was up, so why the fuck are you going? You already know something going on. You've been new. You just know how to play shit. You know how to move. Like, somebody here thought they had one up on you or they was going to get their way, bitch. What's so fool? What's so cool here? It said clouded. <laughs> Poor judgment, making unwise choices, blocked intuition, confusing situations. Then we got messy, acting up, bad behavior, messing things up, leaving a trail. <laughs> like somebody's just slow as fuck. That's what. That's what it sounded like to me. Both of you bitches, all everybody involved is slow as fuck. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they tripping. You got me tripping. Oh, smiling. Oh, mm, 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 because I'm falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't that what that be doing nowadays? The fuck is that? Stupid. Just. <laughs> Virgo, I cannot. But this is your reading. Yours is a little calm. You know what? Every time, because you know. Virgo, this damn Aquarius woman, who else been coming out a lot? So Virgo, the Cancer, Aries been coming out a whole lot. The people that's in the trouble, baby, they don't be coming out of their own readings. They be coming out of everybody else's readings. It's just like, bitch, what? What the fuck? Damn, I need to fix my wig in the back. My hair look crazy. I look crazy, but I really don't give a fuck. So anyways, Virgo. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Very cool, calm, collected. I mean, it's very straight to the point. Thank you. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I didn't have to go through all that. But this was your reading, Virgo. I hope it resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will um, talk to you guys later. Bye.